big double-deck Northwest Orient Airlines Stratocruiser is pulled out of a hangar at New York's International Airport and dollied toward the loading ramp. Specialists have been crawling all over this ship for many hours, checking, adjusting, servicing every moving part, and many parts that don't move. Now the plane is all set for a flight that could take it as far as Seattle, or even across the top of the world to the Far East. Watch some of the things an airline crew must do even before the plane leaves the ground to assure a safe, speedy, comfortable flight. Weather all along the route is gone over carefully, and a flight plan arranged to avoid unfavorable conditions and bring the plane in on time. While pilot Lloyd Belden and co-pilot Vincent Doyle have been making their vital preparations, flight engineer John McLean has been making his, inspecting again every part of an aircraft that has already been gone over from end to end. He checks off mentally various parts of the plane not visible from the control cabin. Even from down here, his expert eye can spot instantly any irregularity not discernible to an observer who lacks his years of experience they'll follow and the weather they'll encounter between here and their destination, the pilot and co-pilot now will give equally close attention to the plane that's going to take them there. With McLean's pre-flight report before him, the captain proceeds to double check on it. The reasons why. When he's convinced the plane is ready, Captain Belden is saluted off by the senior agent and now assumes full responsibility, corresponding to that of the commanding officer of a ship at sea. Captain Belden has a record many a seagoing officer could envy. 20 years of airline flying without an accident. On word from the tower, they taxi to the end of the runway and warm up the engines. Again on word from the tower, they move into position and race down the runway and slide smoothly into the sky. The modern commercial airline is truly a monument to some people's infinite capacity for taking pain. Northwest Airlines Hawaiian Express is the only through double-deck stratocruiser service from New York and these great cities to Hawaii. Settle down and enjoy the luxury and comfort of the Stratacruisers, for they are the world's largest and finest commercial airliners. No matter where you live along the Northwest route, the islands of Hawaii are just overnight from home. You'll marvel at the hot, delicious meals served while you sit comfortably in deep, reclining seats. There's plenty of room to roam around with a luxurious club lounge on the lower deck. In addition to all the comforts of five mile a minute air travel, you save extra days to spend in the islands when you go Hawaiian Express. You'll see the beautiful panorama of the Midwest and Pacific Northwest. you land that the stopover privileges may be arranged so that you may see the scenic wonders of the Pacific Northwest. After a brief Hawaiian Express soars westward for a memorable flight over the blue Pacific to Honolulu. Head, your first view of the fabulous Hawaiian Islands. The Hawaiian Express lets down for the Honolulu Airport, and the states are but a few hours behind you.
traces the towers of Manhattan over 5,000 miles away. The first thing you're conscious of is the flower-scented atmosphere of this tropical island paradise. Waikiki, you too can be there tomorrow via Northwest Airlines Hawaiian Express. Meet King Kamehameha, Hawaiian monarch who united all the islands. History, different races, and scenic beauty all combine to make the islands fascinating. Honolulu, one of the most picturesque cities in the world, nestles on a mountain slope that fades into the deep blue-green waters of Waikiki Beach and Honolulu Bay. From the Aloha Tower on the steamship piers, the business district of the city stretches inland. 